Hi, I'm Josh Jacobson, Product Manager at Yahoo, and today I'm going to show you Yahoo Messenger for Windows Vista. So what we've done is developed this entirely new application. This is not just a new coat of paint on our existing Messenger. This is an entirely new app. The first thing I'll show you is the contact list. You may be familiar with it. We've done a few things differently here. You can resize the contact list and your friends will go into columns. You can change the size of your friends. So if you're in business mode, you can make them very small. If you want to see what all your friends are up to, you can go very large. You can see that Tilly Robinson has new contact on Yahoo 360. She's also posted Flickr photos and you can learn more about her. Now in the contact list, you'll notice Yahoo Fantasy Football. This is a group that Yahoo has automatically created for me because I'm in a fantasy football league. So during the week, I can see which of my other league members are online. And during game time, I can drag this group out from the contact list and it becomes its own custom skin. I can see the latest matchups for the week, who's doing well, and I can instantly contact anyone else in my league. And this is all done automatically. Now let's start a conversation with Tilly. So all I do is mouse over. I say, hello. A messenger, a conversation window opens. And I can type to her, ask her how she's doing. What we've also done in Yahoo Messenger for Vista is a new emoticon. So a lot of times people talk on Messenger and they have multiple windows open. And the screen starts to get just a little cluttered. What we've done is we've made it very easy to combine these windows into tabs simply by dragging them into the same window. And now all my three messages are in tabs. Tilly, Matthew, and Josh. So I can drag them out again. I can close the other windows. And now I can focus back on Tilly. So you'll notice on the side of the screen, we have the Windows Vista sidebar. And in the sidebar is a custom Yahoo Messenger gadget. Now sometimes you have friends that you always want to keep in touch with, even if you don't want to keep your Yahoo Messenger contact list open. So in this case, I really enjoyed talking to Tilly. I can actually take Tilly and drag her to the sidebar. And then I can always see when Tilly is available without ever opening Yahoo Messenger. And since Yahoo Messenger supports voice communication, I think I'm going to call Tilly right now. And as you can see, an animation shows me that I'm calling Tilly Robinson's computer. It shows me when I've started talking with her. And I can still maintain my text messages on the side. As I talk to Tilly, you'll see that my voice is being visualized on the screen and hers would be as well. And this gives you instant feedback about your microphone levels and your speaker levels to make sure everything's working well. And it's just fun. Speaking of fun, we've done a lot of things here, taking advantage of the WPF graphics subsystem in Windows Vista to help you have fun while you're sending instant messages. So for example, if you don't like the color of this application, you can go to our color picker and you can instantly see what it'd be like in different colors of your choosing. And you can also choose grass or wood and we'll be adding more in the future. I kind of like our default color, so I'll go back to that. So a lot of our users have told us here at Yahoo that they really want intimacy with their friends and family via Messenger. So what we've come up with is the Yahoo Show and Tell feature. I'm going to click on the Share button, and I'll click Share Photos, and I'll instantly see photos that I've uploaded to Flickr, and also photos that I've downloaded to my own computer, and they're prioritized by most recent. And this means that I don't have to go hunting for photos that I may have touched recently. They're all available to me right away. I'm very proud of this baby picture, so I'll drag it down to the tray. I'll also drag some photos from my recent vacation to Mexico. So I click Done, and now I see all the photos that I want to share at the bottom, and I can click each one and talk to Tilly about them. And I can text message with her or still communicate via voice. So I'm extremely proud of these photos that I've taken. And I'm going to go full screen so that we can both see each and every detail of the photos. Those are just some of the features available in Yahoo Messenger for Windows Vista. I'm Josh Jacobson, and we hope you'll like it.